really what this is, it's that same general contractor or artisan subcontractor policy, but it is on a very specific niche basis. Um, and the idea is here, we were trying to respond to a lot of comments we hear back from um, some insureds, which is like, hey, that same thing. I don't understand the PL. I just need something to satisfy a contract so I can get to work on this. So this is our response here um, to that need to just provide simple e &L coverage to satisfy a contract so they can get to, get to work. So how is it different? It only covers one main project. That project has to be no more than 5 million in construction values. We only give out 2 million in limits and we're really giving the really part back coverage, right? So really just that pure P, uh, PL exposure. Premium is fully earned at inception. Um, and then we have a very limited targeted market for this. Um, and the policies have to annually renew. So in a normal project specific um, scenario, you usually get, if it's an 18 month policy, you'll get a project for 18 months. For us, we just do this annually and it, and it auto renews um, from there. But one of the nice things is, is if you have them in for this one project and then six months down the road, they have another project where they, they also need contractors policy. Um, what we can do is we can do this flex to grow option where we can essentially convert their project specific policy, contractors keepers uh, policy into a full blown contractors practice policy for all of their projects. Um, and, that's, and that's kind of really the intent when we talk about getting the foot in the door is let, let us help you get one contract. And as you realize you need it for, for multiple, we can just actually flex this up into a full policy and often that's cheaper than going getting multiple project specific policies on a project specific market. Um, who's eligible? Construction and installation only um, GCs um, in, in those following areas uh, kind of outlined there. So generally on the lower hazard pieces, we're not, we're not looking to adversely select ourselves um, by taking on the highest and hairiest exposures. Also, we do, um, in that same vein, exclude certain projects for contractors key, right? So really your kind of big hairy stuff, uh, airports, terminals, runways, condo townhomes, um, tract homes, subdivisions, demolition work, glazing window contractors that are um, always subject to higher pollution claims because of um, water intrusion, um, harbors, piers, those big kind of hairy project types. Um, but if it's kind of commercial, it's clean, it's offices, it's um, retail, things like that, um, then certainly in scope. So it's just another way to think about Hiscox, another way to, way to sell contractors and a way to get your foot in the door with these um, insureds um, so we can look to kind of upgrade them and really educate them on the value of a, of a full policy um, later down the line.